Adventure Kids, I hope you've had a great week. It's a bit rubbish that the sun hasn't been shining as much, but I'm sure you've all found lots of fun things to do anyway. This week we are learning about how Jesus walks on water. So I'm going to hand over to Alison and she is going to read the story for us. Hi wonderful families, I'm so happy that I get to read a story to you from the Bible. This story is all about when Jesus walked on water. Peter was a fisherman, a disciple and was Jesus' friend. Peter tried his best to follow Jesus. One day Jesus sent the disciples across the lake in a boat. Jesus wanted to pray on his own. While in the boat a great storm broke out. The disciples were fighting against heavy and mighty waves. Then they saw someone walking on the water towards them, but it wasn't clear who it was. So they yelled, it must be a ghost, and they cried out in fear. Jesus called out to them, don't be afraid, I am here. Peter said, if it is really you, Jesus, then tell me to come near. Jesus told Peter, yes, come, walk out on the water to me. So Peter jumped out of the boat and stepped onto the raging sea. But then Peter saw the wind and the waves splashing all around him and he began to sink. He yelled, Lord, save me. Jesus reached down and pulled Peter up and said, you have so little faith, why did you doubt? Peter and Jesus climbed back onto the boat and the storm stopped. The disciples worshipped Jesus and were in awe of him. How amazing that Jesus was able to do that and that we can do amazing things when we put our trust in Jesus. Amazing. So as Alison said, we can do amazing things when we trust in God. And that leads us on to our points. So number one, Jesus can do amazing things, even walk on water. Now, I don't know about you, but if I tried walking on water, I'm pretty sure I would sink. <laughs> but Jesus is the son of God and he can walk on water. He can do incredible, amazing, impossible things. And that leads us on to point number two. We can do those amazing things when we trust in God. Now, I'm not saying that if you go to the swimming pool when everything's open again, that you'll be able to walk on water because you trust in God. But what I mean is that when we put our trust in God and we said, God, will you help me with this? He will help us. And like Peter was really scared in the story, wasn't he? But he said, oh, I think I think I can trust you, Jesus. I think that if I step onto this water, that I'll be able to walk too. And he could. And then he started to sink a little bit, didn't he? Because he got all stressed out and he forgot that Jesus was in charge. So, but then he remembered and Jesus said, put your trust in me, it'll be okay. And there he was walking on water. It's amazing, isn't it? And point number three, Jesus will come and find us wherever we are. The disciples had gone far, far away. They were on a boat. They were in the middle of a storm. It was all whooshing and waving and they were really scared. But Jesus walked out on the water to find them. He was their friend. He wanted to be with them. He wanted them to not be afraid. So he walked on the water to go and find them. And Jesus will come and find you wherever you are. So if you're feeling really scared or feeling upset, Jesus wants to be with you. He wants to be your friend and he wants to spend time with you. Right, so as always, we've got some activities that we're gonna do and we've got two this week. One is a craft, so grown-ups, I've emailed you a template. If you've got a printer, then you can print it out. If not, maybe try and draw it. I would love to see your attempts because I don't think I'd be able to draw it, but I'm sure you guys will do an amazing job. So for this craft, you're gonna need the template, you're gonna need some coloring pencils, you're gonna need some scissors, only to be used with your grown-up, and maybe a straw or a lollipop stick, something like that, and a little bit of sellotape. So we are going to create a Jesus walking on water. How cool is that? So you'll need to colour this in and then cut it out, then cut this little slit 
then you'll need to get your Jesus cut out and stick a little bit of sellotape on the back with a straw or a lollipop stick, whatever you've got in the house. And then what you do is you pop Jesus through and then you can make him walk to the boat. The next activity is to do with food. So I personally am very excited about it. So what I've got here is some icing, which I've colored blue. So all you need for that is a little bit of water, some icing sugar and some blue food coloring. If you don't have blue, then maybe whatever color you have, even if it's just white, then you can still pretend that it's the sea. And then you're gonna need a biscuit and you're gonna need some little people. So I've got some Lego people, but maybe if you've got some animal faces, cookies, or whatever you've got that you think could represent Jesus and Peter. So we are gonna get our cookie. And we're gonna put a little bit of icing on top and spread it around to represent the sea. And then you're gonna get your people. So my biscuits are quite small and my person is quite big. So I'm just gonna do two cookies with two people on it. So here we go, there's Peter. So there you have Peter and Jesus walking on water. As always, we are gonna finish with a prayer. We're gonna say thank you to God and we're gonna ask him to help us. So maybe bow your heads or close your eyes. Dear God, thank you that you can do amazing, impossible things. Help us to remember that we can do amazing things when we trust in you. Thank you that you love and care for us. Amen. Right, that is all from us this week Adventure Kids. I hope you've had an amazing time. Remember to watch out for Worship Wednesday and Fun Friday here on our YouTube channel. And if you want to send us a video or a photo, then you can email adventurekids at heart.church. Thanks again, guys. See you later. Bye.